Hello everyone, welcome back to Empyreon Galactic Survival Project Eden version 1.3. In today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go and finish this story mission today. What it wants us to do, it says go to the moon, so we're going to take off to the moon here. Oh, this thing needs more up thrust. We'll fly forward here and make it go a little faster. Get to the moon, check out the MS Titan, get to the story arc, and see where it sends us next. I'm still trying to save up the resources to uh, bring in a fighter class um, CV. Where is the moon at? No, where is the moon? There's the moon. It's where all the red markers are. Or all the yellow markers are. Pentaxid, cobalt, all that good stuff. I think in the next episode we're going to do part of the grindy work. Go and check out all the auto miners and see if they got me enough. Um, dang, let's turn off auto brake and coast into the moon. But hopefully I can get all the deposits picked up and get me enough resources to basically build the capital vessel. Um, the one I'm looking at currently is the AMC2 Vulcan carrier. It's either that one or this one. We need to find a assembly yard so we can get the bridges we need for it. Because the assembly yard is going to have T4 extenders in it. And that will give us what we need to bring in the capital vessel. So we're probably going to do some warping around looking for that. We already explored the planet that I'm leaving now to go to the moon. Uh, yeah, so there's that. We have, There's no Xerax back on the planet. There's no drones, at least unless they respawn. Which I don't think they respawn. So we pretty much got the planet to ourselves, minus the Polaris and the Talon. There were no pirate faction on the uh, thing. It records the size of the Titan should be easy to find. Uh, here we are. It records. We should consider using the detector, nevertheless. Hello, red stuff. What are you? You must be the comms array. Let's go take out the fortifications. What is that? Oh, this is a comms array. Whoa, some lag. I know I'm rendering a video out, but come on. Let everything load in real quick. That is a fortification if I haven't seen one before. I was allowed to shot. I was allowed to shot. We must retreat now because we're down 27%. All those missed shots. Turn around here because we're going to go back in there and neutralize the fortifications so we don't forget about them inadvertently get blown out of the sky. wonder how plasma cannons work on this bad boy. Dude's got some range. I'm more worried about this other one over here, this rocket turret. Let our shields come back up real quick. We did take a couple nose shots. Come on. 
Recharge. Nothing's firing at me. There we go. Rocket straight to the front. 7%. Green turret's got some range on them. Move over here to this side. Line up. Come on, take the generator out. The generator out, take the core out. Ah, oh, that was a lousy shot. lost our shields there. That one's been taken out. That one hasn't been taken out all the way. Now it has. Okay, we're supposed to be looking for the MS Titan. Let's get back to that. down the drones as we see them. Iron deposit. There's Polaris up on here? Or is that a pirate faction? Cobalt. I think that's Polaris. What are they doing on the moon? Probably strip mine, mining all the resources. How dare them. Lag you rendering in all this stuff. Let it render in real quick. pad looks pretty cool. Okay, we're searching for the MS Titan. Let's go this way. Because this seems to be a resource rich area. I keep hitting right click and I know it's not the right key. Get some altitude over this drone here. There was another drone over here. Tax it. I'm not seeing any white question marks yet. 
silicon deposit. Maybe I've already uncovered it. Let's uncover the rest of the map. Yeah, let's uncover the rest of the map. I know I probably ran across it already. Another silicon deposit. You discovered a silicon asteroid. Or a uh, resource. Take a drink of my coffee here in a second. MS Titan's close to the... Close to the uh, wreckage. Actually, let's see if we've already uncovered it. Yeah, the crashed MS Titan's this way. Titanium. It's got to be in the cluster that way. Hidden by the cobalt. Yeah, it's got to be this way. Polaris drone. Supposedly in the upcoming patch, they're supposed to be able to fight each other. Like the Polaris and the Xerox, they are, they go to war with each other. Which be be kind of weird. I gotta remind myself there's Polaris drones on this moon. I don't want to shoot down a uh, Polaris drone. That wouldn't be good. Actually, how's our rep with the Polaris real quick? We're friendly with the Polaris. Which is good. some altitude so I can see the crash MS Titan from here. I think I destroyed all the drones that were around the MS Titan. But if not, we'll destroy all the drones that are around there so we have uh, ample time to uh, get in our vehicle and whatnot. load in real quick so we're not getting the pop in lag for some reason that today's game is just lagging big time for me I found the wreckage it's right here maybe I gotta find the rear It seems the Titan has broken into several parts. IDA and E scanning results? Not yet. You should make a flyby of all three parts for the better scan results. 150 meters should be enough. There's the rear. the mid and then the 
front. Wreckage away. I'm afraid we can't expect the Xerax to have left anything for us to find. I'm not on the ground here. I'm trying to get to the ground there. There's so wow man, I missed that one. Secret secret you say. Is there possible more you can tell me? Question. Commander, I do not. There is a please wait a signal has arrived. IDA question. IDA status. Fatal wave protocol black. Find override code console. Find which code question. Console question. Where question. IDA. Integrated data assistant remote access detected. Integrated data assistant emergency shutdown. Great. Find a code in the maintenance console in the wreckage after more than a year of the enemy tearing it apart. This whole expedition is absolutely doomed. Okay, what am I supposed to find? quarters insulation boost oh we're, we're rocking heavy armor for some reason I forgot we were wearing it yeah epic heavy armor uh, hmm Search around the wreckage and see, find and access the maintenance console. Are you giving me a location here, game? Or am I supposed to just find this on my own? There it is right there. As soon as I can get up here real quick. Here we go, uh, more reading. Here we go, ready? And F. Maintenance access point out of order. Reactivate. Activation failure. Lockdown mode protocol wave rider. Entry your UCH credentials anyway. Access granted. Level black. Welcome, Commander. Please note that the AI hub is not available. Services are limited while the ship is under enemy control. Please make your choice. Get to the latest. Get the latest status report. All status reports have been erased by information not available. Note, there is a file tagged personally for you. Signature M. Play the file? Yeah, let's play the file. Why not? Classified Admiral Ranking Security com Communication Protocol Type Hyperion 2459 Descended per Permission Black 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 Creation date 24.07.2473. Welcome, sir. Please authenticate. Unknown black Hyperion 2459. Setting private mode. IDA. Welcome back, Commander Mercer. Hello, IDA. How are you today? Question. I'm fine, Commander. 
So this is the day question. Yes. This will also be our last conversation, I'm afraid. IDA is sad to hear this, sir. IDA is starting UCH protocol alpha. Your order, sir? Question. Please list operations, Phoenix, main vessel, location, and status. IDA preparing list. UCH 002 MS Titan Command Ship Apollo Station Final Warp Preparation UCH 003 MS Grand Second Command Ship Apollo Station Final Warp Preparation UCH 004 Vasily Covert Earth Moon Orbit Waiting for the Flight Team UCH 005 Baron Covert Marine Base 1 waiting for ammo and personal and personnel okay at least they give you those little arrows now UCH 6 Roswell Science Class Apollo Station waiting for equipment UCH 007 delegate transfer dock to the MS Titan unloading supplies UCH 008 Mar Marine Mem transport dock to the MS Titan Unloading supplies. 009 Heidelberg transportation heading to for Apollo Station. York transport heading for Apollo Station. IDA, do you also wish to review the status of your support craft and armored forces? No, I don't. No thanks. Thank you. Last reading. M, please list the current location of permission status on the MS Titan command crew. Searching UCH locator database. Admiral Ronald T. Ye Yaden, Fleet Admiral, located MS Titan Admiral's cabin, permission rank black. Vice Admiral Jeremy Banner, 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 Cap Captain MS Titan, located on MS Titan main bridge, permission rank purple. Lieutenant Commander Alex. Lamar, Chief Engineer, located Apollo Station, Crew Quarters, Permission Rank, Red, Lieutenant Commander Storm, Security Chief, located Apollo Station, Crew Quarters, Permission Rank, Red, Lieutenant Commander Jennifer Zerogan, Science Chief, located on the MS Titan Bridge, Permission Rank, Red, Lieutenant Edward Senior, First Pilot, located MS Titan, Crew quarters, permission rank orange. M, thanks IDA. Please issue the prepared recalib recuration, uh, re relocation request in about one hour for the following staff. M, Lieutenant Commander Lamar shall report to MS Titan tomorrow at, at 8 o'clock. M, Lieutenant Commander Storm shall report to the MS Titan tomorrow at 1600. Relocation request has been scheduled. IDA is the operational Phoenix for pre pre preparation on track meeting its targeted timeline? Yes, all vessels will be ready for departure as planned. Any new information from the listing post? No, sir. The tracking of the event has not shown any deviation from the predicted timing. Come on, let me skip. Sir, are, you, are there any problems? Hmm. No idea. Everything is fine. Just thinking about their consequences. Do you wish to proceed, question? We have no other choice, IDA. That's correct, sir. Ma'am, okay, IDA. Time has come. I know, sir. I'm quiet. I'm quit. Exited.
excited. I'm quite excited. What am I going? Man. <laughs> Today's a bad day for reading. Good to know, IDA. Please start the childhood program. Childhood program? Huh? IDA, childhood program initiated. Decryption in progress. Core entity dupl duplicated. Core entity transferred. Accessing personal equipment. Regenerating core entity. Personal command codes permission. Status upgrade black. Reactivate code are set. Ready? Reactivation codes are, are set, yeah. IDA. The IDA child entity has been successful. Installed to Lieutenant Commander Storm's equipment. Childhood Pro completed. Sir? Docking Bay 2 has signaled your shuttle has arrived. Just arrived. Thanks, IDA. Sir, question? Am IDA question? Do you really need to go all this on this journey? IDA talking there. Am I'm afraid I need to be on the Titan when they leave. That's sad to hear, Commander. Wow, how much dialogue is here? No worries, IDA. I will be fine. I'm sure you will. One last thing to do. IDA, please send the Wave Rider protocol. Code Black Wave Black. Wave Rider protocol has been sent. IDA orders have been issued to all vessels and stations. Override codes have been accepted. Thanks, IDA. Let's hope the cancel trust in Commander Lamar and Commander Storm is justified. For whatever reason, they have been chosen by the council without telling them. Godspeed to both of you. The fate of the two galaxies seems to be in our hands, in your hands for, from now on. Am IDA, it's about time. Please start the countdown. IDA Wave Rider Protocol has been activated. Countdown started. The le time lapse until the event, 23 hours and 32 minutes and 15 seconds. IDA, sir, I wish you all the best. Am, thanks IDA. IDA, farewell and goodbye. Goodbye, IDA. Starting countdown. IDA 2332, 2332, just a lot of numbers. Let's just skip that one. End of the file. Find out about M. Back to the main menu. Please note that the AI hub is not available. Services are limited with this ship and ship is under enemy control. Please make your choice. Find information about override code. Get the latest status report. Code black credentials and confidential information. For your eyes only, to generate an override code to access the fail-safe data cache, three code fragments need to be assembled. The fragments are hidden in three consoles. They need to be assembled on the main command console on the bridge. The location must remain unknown to any and all pers persons below access level black at all, at all cost. Please enter credentials again to start recovery procedure. Enter condition. Authorization route approved. Recovery main key generated. Recovery information. Find all the three random prepared consoles. They are spread out front, middle, and back part of the ship. Each console will automatically update code fragment when the recovery main key is positioned within two meters of the console. Good luck and communication. Wow, that was a lot of reading. Like, I'm sorry everyone, I didn't realize it, but this is the story arc. We're trying to figure out wh who M is. We're, uh, we're on the right track. We need to find the Titan front.
Where's the Titan front? It wants us to go there first. There's the mid. Let's go to the front. If I remember correctly, there's a loot container somewhere in one of these uh, MS Titans. At least there used to be. That's got thrusters on it. I'm just trying to figure out what's the easiest plan of attack trying to get into this bad boy. I think right here. No. I think we landed on the opposite direction of where I needed to land. Yes, that's one way to get in. Oh, there's fuel here. Let's take out all the fuel. 35 packs of fuel. Won't say no to that. And some meds. Let's see where this uh, console is. I think it's up here somewhere. On the bridge. Find the token console. I wish you'd just tell me where it is instead of me exploring. Is this it? Is this it? No. There it is. Found you. Hold on. What's in here? A medium armor? I can't take the medium armor, huh? What if I put this stuff in the fridge? Can I take the medium armor now? Okay. Okay, more reading. Here we go. I have to access. Updating token modular, code modular. Sign star procedure. Attention, another hidden log file has been detected. Play file? No. Uh, do we want to? Yeah. Warp core control room. T minus five hours, two minutes and 13 seconds. Commander Lamar, Commander L Mercer. Hello, Commander Lamar. Hello, Commander Mercer. Nice to have you here. I've heard you are now responsible for the warp engines and the protocols and for having overridden my repair console and test the moment you stepped aboard the Titan. And test the moment you stepped aboard the, the Titan. L, so how can I help you, question? Okay, I need some coffee. So the story is, the MS Titan. M, I'm just having a look at the warp core, impressive. Yeah, L, yes, unbelievable what the techs have pulled out of, of that pile of junk in Antarctica for decades ago. Nothing but destroy devices and incomplete blueprints. But now somehow it is just magically work works okay. Well not magically, you know what I mean. Yes indeed. Just a question if you don't mind. These black suits, is this kind of a of an a, you is this kind of an uniform? Damn, that's confidential. Oh. So what exactly are you doing here? M. As I said, I have having a look at the warp core and the op optimization. L. Mm, okay. Then enjoy your stay. I'm setting up the final routines. Or do you want to rewrite them right away? No worries. Am it seems that it seems there have been no issues with the schedule being moved forward. Yes? Question. L. Er. M. No. Sure. The teams have made 
exceptional progress since some office staters decided to throw them out of their beds this after this after already working weeks with nearly no sleep and that's obviously the risk of working in the expedition fleet right El haha ha, tell you what this whole expedition thing is going to a strange route not to mention there is council that governs all the delusion decisions and the UCH is somehow in the dark don't you think this requires some additional explanation no not really don't explain to her and no what should we explain to whom question there's nothing secret about the expedition for those that are involved we'll tell the people what they need to know there you go Em. tell her tell her off yes that's exactly my point L seems like he wants uh, to know that as you might know my grandpa was the lead engineer on the Hyperion he was not lost with the ship only for one simple reason someone decided to reschedule his ship I'm thankful for that but my grandpa never managed to get rid of the stigma of the coward that was left behind well that sucks L my dad moved to Mars with my with me after my grandpa's sudden death I signed up for the fleet right after college to show what our family is capable of my dad said that grandpa became crazy about this stuff pretending the officials just want to silence everyone especially him personally and the Hyperion bereaved organization all the stories of a planned accident the ship not being destroyed and some threat we are facing all all very dramatic and to be honest until the last 24 hours I always thought this old poor man simply could not cope with the, what happened when you showed up on my board the Titan L when you showed up on board the Titan I suddenly remembered one of my grandpa's stories about some black suits L visiting the Hyperion a few days ahead of the mission commander no Mercer Oh, I've been working for this project for nearly eight years now and in these last few months I've looked at this project and I've done the math in the last week and in the last 24 hours in particular so many strange things have happened Hell, did you know the Grand um, Grand and the Titan each have several squads of Marines on board question so you do have checks the manifest yesterday sure you do I checked the manifest yesterday we have stashed away tons and tons and tons of high caliber ammo I'm an engineer I know what these formulas and materials are made of made for this is not for asteroid defense so don't tell me this nothing is a secret BS and now you are coming on board and the first thing you do is the mess around with the protocols I have been developing for the last five years commander calm down please and the adjustments were made the adjustments we've made have been derived from important data coming directly from the Apollo labs and Dr. Grayson and Dr. Dawson you might know them I do but I have also looked at the changes you made now this is these are risky I'm not sure what they should do exactly they don't seem to have any function that improves the efficiency of the warp drives and rest assured these have been approved by top specialists everything is fine now rest assured that if something goes wrong and someone is harmed 
and I discover that it was because of your changes, nothing will be fine for you. Ooh, getting a little snippy. Close file. Token code module sequence 3 updated. Confirm to, to complete the sequence. Confirm. Okay, everyone. This is where I'm going to leave this episode. We're getting the story. Seems like M is the black sheep of the... Of uh, the, uh... I didn't bring any air. Did I? I don't remember if I brought any air. Did I bring any air? I might have to run back to the planet. I didn't bring any air. Um... No air in there. I'm gonna run back to the planet and get some O2 and whatnot and then in the next episode we'll continue the story and we'll see where it plays out so i do hope that you have enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you storm that like button and if you're new here subscribe for more daily videos okay everyone take care and bye bye